so lucky. We have been so lucky to have Fred Armisen with us all week. Thank you, Fred, for being back with us. And Fred, uh, I know you uh, to be an incredible artist uh, and also an incredible friend, and uh, therefore it's no surprise that you are a great collaborator. You are always working with other people on projects. I am. Yeah. <laughs> and this is really cool. Our first guest, Kristen Wiig, is a dear friend of, of both of us. Yeah. But you and her are opening a new museum. We are. We've got this uh, new museum, and it's of uh, crutches. It's a crutches museum. Okay. And um, what we're gonna have is like, we're gonna have actors there, like, you know, with crutches, so you see how they worked. Okay. So you didn't wanna just have like the crutches on the wall, you wanted to have actors showing people. Yeah, just so this way it's more interactive. And you could ask them, what ha you know, what happened to you? And then they go, well, I had a skiing accident, uh, or what, you know, whatever. So each story changes from. That's great, because yeah. I would have assumed a crutches museum would have been about the crutches, but it seems like it's about the backstory of the person who <laughs> needs the crutches. To a degree, yes. Yeah. yeah. How many actors are working at any given time? 26. Wow. Yeah. So exactly 26? Yes. And what is, you know, can you tell me about an interesting crutch throughout history that maybe we don't know about? Yes, in 1952 in the Olympics, <laughs> um, one of the journalists got in the way of one of the skiers and sort of, you know, sprained his ankle. And so, and so he had some crutches for a little while. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, how does a journalist get in the way of a ski? I know. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Give it up for Fred, everybody!